All right, so we're still out here with Randall Rawhide Worst, and we're going through the different layers of equipment that he uses. All, all the way we started with his vehicle, we've worked through his rucksack, uh, his vest, stuff he has on his person. We're down to the last level. This is the layer of gear that Randy has on him, his everyday carry. Uh, Randy, where do you want to start? All right, because uh, I couldn't normally, I normally this is inside, you don't see it, but with the mics and all, this is the nano light, so I always have light with me. I took those bands off that we connect our, our uh, sunglasses. Sunglasses, bands, yeah. cut that, put it over to so it's uh, deadens the noise. Okay. Sw simple Swiss Army knife. The main things I use for is the tweezers more than anything, toothpick, and I use the file here when I have my strike anywhere matches so I can bring it right down where I need to light it. Just not in the wind, yeah. Right. So <clears throat> that is always on me. There will be uh, two, two knives that I carry, a thin blade for working when I need something thin, but it's locking, and that's the case. This is the browning. This I always have fixed blades on me right, so because they're stronger. They don't have any weak point on them. These are both razor sharp. I don't even need to try them. Yes. I mean, yeah, you, I keep you their... swear by your, your fixed blade knives. Yes, Definitely. I'm a fixed blade man. They don't have a weak point to them. You know, all hinge uh, knives that do. That they do. Now, this is the... Skeletal. Skeletal. I love them, man. The, the main thing I just use that is for the plier part. Because it's lightweight, it'll clip onto my belt. And that's really all that I use. It has a couple other things on it. Screwdrivers, reversible bits, things like that. Yeah. Good choice, very lightweight. Now, all my pouch right here are survival gears, lights. Uh, Fire, three methods of making fire. There's actually um, super glue from what that's the smallest I can get medical, so I could seal stuff yep. up with super glue. But I wanted to show you when I did this stuff with Jerry Mitchell's family. Yep. This is my candle, fits in this pouch. We built seven fires. That's all that was taken out of it. That's all that was burned out of it. And that's seven fires I started with that. All right, now this started as just a mint tin. Yes. And you melted some of your wife's candles in Yes. The, only, the thing nice. you got to watch out is this. You can get her candles without her knowing about it. Don't use her pots and pans. For <laughs> God's sakes, don't do it inside the don't house. Don't do it in the house. Yeah, man. Bad news. All Good right. Good stuff. Now. Now, you can't carry this stuff everywhere obviously um no so we have call and i uh we're, we're uh long-haired black ops or in the civilian mode i call it our sunday go to meeting equipment. sunday go to meetings when you see me and we're all dressed up on our finest this equipment here honest to god it's always with me yeah uh, and we will not be caught without stuff uh my knife uh crkt i like it uh, I cut steak when I go to restaurants, that's what I cut steak with. Could I fight with it? Yes. Can I kill somebody? No, but all I'm trying to do is disable them. But it's just a utility type knife yeah, for me. It'll get pretty deep. And the way it's designed yeah. uh, and the way I carry it, I make my own zip ties. And then that's the system I have so it can't uh, tighten or untighten on okay. it. Uh, so it's up out of the way and people don't really notice it, but I do have something to defend myself. And then the, the small... Um, utility type uh, tool uh, that's made by Gerber and it's just small stuff I mean I don't want things big things hanging yeah. off of me now this small pouch this carries the um, claspable knives that will lock out it carries lights can openers and fire making material in it but you know the um, what is it called the teak Tea lights, tea yeah. lights, what I call them. Yeah. What I did was I took the wax out of one, cut it, slipped it, and put it over another one. So now I have a mini little candle here. With a lid on it. With a lid on it. You have to have a lid on it, and you have to have metal to retain the wax. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it. it's just one of those little emergency candles. The wax just melts off, runs down in your fire. You can't save it. Yep. Great to have a, uh, a base underneath your candle. So anytime you see Carl and I, we're never naked, if you will. We'll always have something yeah. on us. I, um, easily, this man is prepared for the worst case scenario. If you want to learn more about any of his equipment, uh, each and every item, 
And it's not just having the equipment, it's having the mindset and the knowledge. It's that knowledge that's gonna push you above the rest. You can buy all this stuff, but you need to have the knowledge. And the, this right here is where you're gonna get that technical expertise on how to use that stuff. Uh, Randy, how often do you run these courses out here at uh, Rock Castle Shooting Center? I try to run a couple per month, and I start like October, November through February. So you like to run them in the winter? Yes. Uh, if you wanna really test yourself, um, you need to do it in the worst case scenario. The, the worst time. case scenario. Plus, there aren't snakes. I've had problems with people with phobias with snakes, and they actually have phobias with bugs that has ticks in the summertime. So I think it's beautiful out here in the winter, a little chilly, but a great place to learn. Um, how do viewers that really want to do this training with you, how do they reach out to you? I, all my schools are at Rock Castle Shooting Center. So just get a hold of Rock Castle Shooting Center, go on their website, and it'll, it'll show how to get in touch with any of the training, because they have far more stuff than just me. So it'll be listed and you can find me on there. All right, so if, just like any other subject, if you want to learn about it, obviously you go to that subject matter expert for that particular topic. But if you want to learn about uh, how to be prepared for the worst case scenario, there's not gonna be anybody better to teach you that than Randall Rawhide Worst. So reach out to him and uh, any other questions, by all means, push them towards me. I'll get you in touch with him or you can go straight to the Rock Castle website.